curious, uh, people are really excited about your uh, visit to Halifax. Uh, it took us about two hours since we put this event online to when it sold out. Uh, does that kind of response in cities that you're not really working in or for tempt you at all to run for other levels of politics? First of all, I never use the term levels of government because it implies a hierarchy. So I always say orders of government. And if you ever say junior level of government, I will kick you in the shins. <laughs> I, sometimes remind, I sometimes remind the premier, though he doesn't like it very much, that I was elected by more people than all the Tory MLAs in Calgary combined. Um, but, and all, don't get excited. All mayors are, because it's the, only, it's the only job in Canada where you're elected by your whole population not just by one district or one riding. Um, that said, um, one rule of politics that you always know is if you're a local politician and you're having a bad day, go somewhere else. They always like you better in other places, um, which is a good thing. Uh, no, uh, I would, uh, first of all, I don't think any political party would have me. That's why I wear purple, right? It's red and blue. Oh, purple and some donair sauce. <laughs> Uh, Halifax. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but secondly, the work that we do at the Municipal Order of Government is, I think, the most interesting work there is. You know, I often joke that if the federal government disappeared while we were in here, it would probably be a week or two before anyone noticed. Uh, if your provincial government disappeared, you'd notice pretty quickly. They do run the schools and the hospitals, but it might take a few hours. But if your municipal government disappeared, well, you'd have no police, you'd have no fire, you'd have no clean water. You roads would be full of snow. Oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> you'd have no parks, recreation, or arts facilities, and you'd notice pretty darn quick because you'd actually be dead. And so that work, I think, is really important work, and I love that someone like Mike Savage with a huge future in federal politics said, nah, where I can use my skills the best is right here at the municipal order. And uh, I think that's terrific. And for me, I'm lucky. I've got the best political job in Canada, so I, I would never want to take such a demotion. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming to Halifax and coming to the Smiling Goat and, and spending time with us. Um, uh, before you go, I wanted to share a little gift to show our appreciation for you coming out this evening. We've got a uh, bag of Smiling Goat coffee. Awesome. Hope you're a drinker. And I believe this is Nova Scotia chocolate. Thank you very much. Thank you all. And let me just say, let me just say that you know I wasn't uh, I wasn't uh, being facetious when I said I was really excited to come here based on the work that Springtide is doing. I love the metaphor. I didn't know what Springtide meant until you announced it at the beginning. But making this happen is really important. And the fact that you'll all take the afternoon and sit here in a beautiful coffee shop and talk about this stuff is an important first step. But you got to keep going. And never mind that you've got a relatively new provincial government. You've got a municipal election in 18 months' time. And it's time now to get very... And I hope you'll start focusing on municipal politics too, by the way. Because right now, exactly right this minute, is the time you want to be recruiting candidates. You want to get people to start running. You want to start fundraising. You want to get teams together. Because it's all about having great candidates. Whether they win or not is actually not that relevant. But having great candidates who can... Uh, elevate the level of debate and who can engage citizens in a new way is incredibly important. And congratulations on the work you're doing, and I hope you'll keep doing it. Yeah. Thanks so much.